Hi there, folks. Um, we're going to do an eight episode masterclass on a paint called Cobra. Cobra, a paint produced by Royal Talents Company from Holland, a uh, producer of paints like Rembrandt, Van Gogh oil colors, Amsterdam acrylics, and a whole lot more. We're going to emphasize on Cobra, solvent-free oil painting. Solvent-free meaning you do not need hazardous stuff like turps or spirits, meaning you can paint with Cobra everywhere you like. In the kitchen, in the living room, outside. Water is everywhere because solvent-free means you use water instead of solvent. What I hear a lot when I talk about Cobra showing it, people reacting with, oh yeah, I've heard about that water-based oil paint. No, it's not water-based. There's not one tiny little bit of water inside this paint. This is pure oil color. I mean, you could mix it, if you want, with white spirit. Oh, it comes out of the tube really smooth. White spirit, you know. I show you how easy it goes. Just like regular oils, it dissolves in white spirit. But of course, the trick is that you don't need white spirit. Now, how come an oil paint can be mixed with water? It's because the formula of this paint is adjusted in a way that it will adapt water. Now, oil does not dissolve in water, but you can emulsify oil in water. And while doing that, put some paint on the palette. Here you got some water. The feeling now is somewhat different from mixing oil with spirits. Oil and spirits, they love each other. Oil and water, they hate each other. And what you have to do as a painter, you take some water and you have to stimulate the emulsion and mix it little by little and emulsify, uh, emulsify every little bit of it. And you see how easy it goes. Now, why water mixable oil? Um, Worldwide, legislation is getting more and more severe. In a lot of universities, academies of art, it's no longer allowed to use spirits. More and more people are developing allergies. It's hard to paint inside a house as a leisure painter. Family members, they don't like the smell. Also, outside painting, uh, bands, orchestras, people, whatever. You always have to carry something to mix your paint. Now, water is everywhere. Then, of course, you could say, well, if you do not want to work with spirits and tubs, just change to acrylics. But that's another story, because acrylic does not have the specific properties as a real oil color. That's very different. Another significant difference between acrylics and oil in general, water mixable or not, uh, is the brush stroke after drying. If this is a cross section of a ground and we apply with acrylic paint a thicker paint layer with a sharp brush stroke, what happens? The water inside the acrylic evaporates, meaning the paint loses volume and what's eventually left of your paint is about this. It's not only that it loses volume, but also the sharpness of your brush stroke gets less. Acrylic paint tends to dry flat. Another difference between oils and acrylics is yes or no color shift. You know, here we have dry acrylic paint and here we have a wet acrylic paint and you clearly see that the dry one is darker than the fresh one. Now, with oils, again, whether it's water mixable or not, Oils in general, what you see is what you get. Dry paint, wet paint, 
and it's exactly the same. Oil color is the only color. What you see wet is what you get dry. So that's Cobra Artist, Cobra Study. Different label as you see, different cap, black, orange. But what actually is the difference inside? Let me explain. Artist, study. When you make an artist's quality of paint, what you do, you have a certain quantity of pigment, as much as possible, that's what we want to buy, right? We want to buy pigment. So there's a whole lot of pigment, and another part is the binder. In this case, the oil of the oil color. Now, pigments, in average, are the most expensive part of paint. The cost price in euros is about in between 5 and over 300 euros for one kilogram. And not everybody can or wants to pay that much money for a tube of paint. So what do we do? We're going to reduce on the quantity of pigment. We're going to put less pigment inside. In this case, it's about half of the artist's quality. Then I have a huge part left. If I put only oil here, the binder, then I got a liquid paint. So we don't do that. We put in the same, the same uh, quantity of binder. It's also the same quality. And what's left here, we fill it up with an extender. What's an extender? Extenders are chalk kind of products. Uh, actually, they behave like a colorless pigment inside your paint. An extender should not be expensive and should be 100% stable. It should not decline any quality of the paint. And we have several extenders we can use for this purpose. This is one difference. Second difference. The pigments are ground inside the paint. And the finer you grind the pigment, the higher the tinting strength and the deeper the color of your paint. In order to have a very fine grinding for an artist's quality, the paint has to go over the triple roll mill in between two and five times. And the times the paint goes over the triple roll mill is reduced for a study quality, which makes it more affordable, right? Third difference. In the artist quality, we use expensive, exclusive pigments. And in the study quality, we do not. Take care now, it does not mean that we have no quality pigments inside the study paint. It's a very, very quality pigments, but not the most expensive one. We have a lot of very, very good pigments that are available in every, uh, used in every industry. And for that reason, they're very affordable. Meaning in the study, you don't have real cadmiums, you don't have real cobalts, pigments like that that are actually in industry exclusive, exclu exclusively used for artist materials. Yeah. So here we have a whole lot of pigments that we can use. It's an 80 color range. For the study, it's 40 colors. Because the price of pigments can be very different. In the artist quality, we have four different price series, depending on the type of pigment and how many times the paint has to go over the triple roll mill. Four price series for the same quantity of paint. And here we have only one series. Since the study quality actually was derived from the artist quality, we took 40 colors out of the artist quality without these exclusive pigments. And every color here has the highest degree of light fastness. Since the study came out of the artist, also here, every color has the highest possible light fastness. Three pluses are one of the symbols for light fastness on the Royal Towns products. We still have seven classes to go, and in those seven classes, uh, classes I will explain more about it. It will be next time. And further on, uh, we get into how to start a painting in painting techniques, combination with the Cobra mediums, uh, color mixing, and a whole lot more. Hope to see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.